You're watching Fox 17 News. Welcome back. Parents in Rockford are voicing concerns over the district's upcoming academic calendar. Students will be getting more early release days than ever before. The district, though, saying that there is good reason for this. Our Michael Martin breaks down the details. We know that, uh, you know, a new schedule like this is disruptive to families at some level. Rockford Public Schools 2023-24 academic calendar was released back in March. But as we get closer to the school bell sounding, some parents are concerned about the number of early release days baked into the new schedule. And parents are involved and passionate. They're going to they're going to raise concerns or they're going to uh, ask questions, and and all of that is welcome. This school year, students will have 18 early release days, along with two slightly longer half days. Teaching is really about implementing instructional strategies in the classroom, and then assessing students to see what worked and what didn't work, and then trying to identify new and better approaches. And instead of having it be kind of once a month or once every other month. Uh, when they kind of forget about, uh, you know, what they were talking about and have to be reminded of it, uh, they, they really need that regular uh, time during the school day to work to, to try to help them improve their instructional strategies for students. A handful of families are passing around an online petition asking the district to reconsider the plan. One parent, a stay-at-home mom living with disabilities, told Fox 17... Although it does inconvenience me, it's the working parents that truly have a reason to be pissed off. Many of them didn't even get a chance to attend the school board meetings when this decision was made. While another parent emphasized they are worried this will create an inconsistent learning environment for students. From our perspective, this will improve educational outcomes. It will give teachers an opportunity to talk to each other. It will give teachers there's an opportunity to, to evaluate their lessons and whether or not they're effective. Superintendent Dr. Steve Matthews says this approach isn't set in stone for upcoming school years. They will evaluate its effectiveness as they move forward. We think we have a really solid rationale for doing what we're doing. But as we go through, we're going to continue to communicate with our parents. We're going to continue to take feedback. And if there are changes that need to be made, we'll certainly uh, make those. Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.